good morning everyone today we are going to start with chapter 5 fishery by products fishes have an important role in our daily life they are valuable as well as easily accessible or available source of food being rich in protein carbohydrates vitamins a and d iron calcium and other mineral salts food value of the fish is 300 to 600 calories in one pound depending upon its oil contents fishes unsuitable for human consumption are often discarded during processing such fishes have little market value but are important raw material for the fishery by product industry by products from the fish are derived from marine and fresh water prawns muscles cephalopods lobsters and others so all kind of fishery animals can be used for the production of various by products the non edible parts like fins scales chitinous parts cells bones and skeleton are used for the manufacture of fertilizer lime leather gelatin fish glue etc so these are the some of the products which are which can be derived from the non edible parts of the fish or the fishery organism the commercial major important by product of the fish industry are fish meal fish liver oil fish body oil fish manure aging glass fish glue etc so the commercial major important by products of the fishery industry are fish meal fish liver oil fish body oil fish manure aging glass fish glue etc following are the some important fish by products the first we will explain fish meal fish meal is produced in chennai mumbai orissa and west bengal coast it is clean cooked dried tissue of the undecomposed fish 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 meal is produced in a tamil nadu maharashtra in mumbai then uh, orissa and west bengal coast it is clean cooked dried tissue of undecomposed fish the species like sardines mackerels ribbon fish silver belly sharks and rays form the raw material for the production of fish meal the big sized fishes are cut into small pieces while the small ones are treated as a whole the process of manufacture of involves the process of manufacture of fish meal involves the boiling of the fish in a sufficient water in a large pot to extract the oil the cooked mass is then pressed in a canvas or coir bags in a screw press to remove the water the resulting cake is then dried in a sun and the solid mass is packed and marketed so this is what the process of production of the fish meal so production of the fish meal process of production of fish meal is quite simple that is the dried species of the fishes which forms the raw material for the production of the fish meal such as uh, sardines indian mackerel ribbon fish silver belly sharks and rays which are used usually for the production of fish meal the big size pieces are cut into small pieces and small pieces are treated directly for the production of fish meal the process of manufacture of fish meal involves the boiling of the fish in a sufficient water in large pots to extract the body oil the cooked mass is then pressed in a canvas or coir bags in a screw presses to remove the water the resulting cake is then dried under sun the solid mass is packed and then marketed as a fish meal waste products of the fish are utilized for preparing food for the poultry pig and the cattle it is particularly useful for the chicken and other young animals 
as it contains amino acids proteins in a readily digestible form so waste products of the fish are utilized for the preparation of the various type of animal feed such as poultry feed piggery feed or the cattle feed and it is particularly useful for the chicken and other young animals as it contains amino acids proteins in a readily digestible state the fish meal can be stored in a air tight sterilized containers for long period the fish meal can be stored in air tight sterilized containers for long period fish meal is composed of proteins 55 to 70% fats or the oils 2 to 15% minerals 10 to 12% water 6 to 12% so these are the various components mainly present in the fish meal besides this it also contains small quantities of the iron calcium and phosphorus and traces of vitamins a d b and k it is therefore a valuable source of the food materials high quality fish meal is used on animal farms to supplement the daily diet means for the enrichment of the uh, diet with respect to uh, the nutritional ingredients our uh, in the animal feeds usually high quality of the fish meal is uh, used uh, as a supplement uh, to enrich the animal diet or to enrich the ingredients or the nutrients in the animal feeds so high quality fish meal is used on animal farms to supplement the dairy diet while the low grade variety is used as a manure or a fertilizer in a plantation of coffee tea and the tobacco so low quality fish meal can be used as a fertilizer for the uh, commercial crops such as uh, coffee tea or tobacco and uh, high grade or good quality fish meal can be used in the animal feeds to enrich their uh, nutritional components it is estimated that india produces each year about 1.5 lakh pounds of the fish meal manufacture of the fish meal can be taken up as a cottage industry manufacture of the fish meal can be taken up as a cottage industry as it needs cheap equipments as it needs cheap equipments uh, for the uh, manufacture of the uh, fish meal then second is fish flour fish flour is the fine superior quality of the fish meal so it is quite similar similar to the fish meal the fish flour is quite similar in composition to that of fish meal so fish flour is the fine superior quality of the fish meal it is prepared on a large scale it is prepared on a large scale by the solvent extraction method fish flour is used for human consumption fish flour is used for the human consumption it is rich in protein content and poor in fatty acid ingredients means the fish flour is rich in proteins and poor in a fatty acid uh, that is oil contents it can be mixed with a wheat flour or a maize flour 10% fish flour and 90% wheat flour so the fish flour can be mixed with the wheat flour or the maize flour one as to nine proportion 10% fish and uh, Uh, 10% fish flour and 90% wheat flour or the maize flour so this is what the proportion of the fish flour and the wheat flour or maize flour uh, so as to utilize the fish flour for the uh, human consumption it is used as an enriching component in the bread biscuits cakes sweets soups and gruels fish flour can be used to enrich the components in the bread biscuits cakes sweets soups and gruels and it is also good 
and it is also a good source of the fish protein for the skin creams and infant ice creams even pharmaceuticals due to its high nutritional value so the fish fluid can be used as a good source of the fish protein for the skin creams or the face creams and infant ice creams then pharmaceuticals that is in medicinal use medicine pharmaceuticals due to its high nutritional value then third fishery by product that is liver oil fish liver oil is an important by product of the fishes because it has high medicinal value and it was known even in old times it is one of the natural sources of the vitamin a d and c the fishes used to extract oil the fishes used to extract liver oil are cods halibuts tunas sharks and the rays so these are the some of the important fish species the livers of which are used for the extraction of the oil cod liver oil is being used to cure rickets tuberculosis and xerophthalmia cod liver oil is being used to cure or for the treatment of the rickettsia then tuberculosis and xerophthalmia fish liver oil has following composition fats 55 to 75% proteins 5 to 10% water 20 to 36% vitamins a and d so these are the important components of the fish liver oil so fish liver oil is an important by product of the fishes because it has a high medicinal value and it was known even in a old times it is one of the natural source of the vitamin a d and c the fishes used to extract liver oil are cods halibuts tunas sharks and rays cod liver oil is being used to cure or for the treatment of the rickets tuberculosis and xerophthalmia fish liver oil has following composition it is fats 55 to 75% proteins 5 to 10% water 20 to 36% vitamins a and d since the liver oil contains vitamin a and d since the liver oil contains vitamin a and d but varies from fish to fish but varies from fish to fish and from season to season so the quantity of the vitamin a and d varies the quantity of the vitamin a and d varies in the liver oil from fish to fish or season to season cod liver oil is rich in fats cod liver oil is rich in fats but poor in a vitamin a content so cod liver oil contains the vitamin a only about 1000 to 3000 iu per gram so cod liver oil rich in fats but containing poor quantity or less quantity of the vitamin a and that is only about 1000 to 3000 iu per gram while the shark liver oil while the shark liver oil have the highest fat and highest vitamin a that is 15000 that is 15000 to 10 lakh iu per gram so when we compare the liver oil of the cod and the shark it is observed that shark liver oil is best for the source of vitamin a so vitamin a is uh, in a highest quantity in the shark liver oil that is 15000 to 10 lakh units per gram and cod liver oil containing vitamin a only about 1000 to 3000 iu per gram so this is what are the comparison of the vitamin a comparison of the quantity of the vitamin a present in the cod liver uh, oil and the shark liver oil when the fish is dead when the fish is dead the enzymes present in the liver start their action on the protein materials and the fats 
which are then broken down into fatty acids and glycerol so when the fish is dead when the fish is dead the enzymes present in the liver start their action on the proteins and the fats and the fats are broken down into the fatty acids and the glycerol the oil become darker in color due to oxidation the oil becomes dark in color due to oxidation reaction therefore to obtain good quality oil therefore to obtain good quality liver oil the processing of the liver must be done soon after the fish is caught that means the fresh liver the fresh liver or the fresh fish should be used for the extraction of the liver oil then only the liver oil can contain the good quantity of the vitamin a otherwise the dead fishes or the dead liver tissue can yield poor quality liver oil due to the oxidation reaction so the oil become darker in color due to the oxidation of the liver oil oil is extracted from liver by one of the following method the oil becomes darker in a color due to the oxidation therefore to obtain good quality therefore to obtain good quality oil the processing of the liver must be done immediately after the fish is caught or the harvested oil is extracted from the liver oil is extracted from the liver by one of the following methods the first method for the extraction of the liver oil is boiling method in boiling method liver is cut into small pieces at first in boiling method while uh, extraction of the liver oil liver is cut into small pieces and boiled at 85 to 90 degree centigrade with a sufficient amount of water so liver is obtained from the freshly harvested fish of the desired species the liver of the freshly harvested fish is first washed then cut into small pieces and boiled at 85 to 90 degree centigrade with a sufficient amount of water then the oil is skimmed then the oil is skimmed off from the water surface so due to the boiling of the uh, liver pieces in a adequate amount of water at 85 to 90 degree centigrade the oil from the liver tissue is liberated that will float on to the surface of the water from where it is skimmed off or the removed when oil comes up to the surface of water and collected into metallic vessels and this is the cheapest extracting method this method is used for the extracting uh, liver oil from the pieces such as cords and oil sardines which have high oil content so in first method that is boiling method of the extraction of the liver oil at first liver is cut into small pieces and boiled at 85 to 90 degree centigrade with a sufficient amount of water then the oil is skimmed off from the surface of the water when oil comes up to surface of water when oil comes up to surface of water and collected into metallic vessels this is the cheapest extracting method this is the cheapest extracting method and this method is used for the extraction of the liver oil from pieces such as cords and oil sardines which have high oil content then second that is a steaming method second method of the extraction of the liver oil that is steaming method the fresh liver lobes the fresh liver lobes are heated with the steam under pressure using steam kettle with the automatic safety valve to control the pressure that is 2 kg per square at uh, uh, units the temperature of the steam is maintained between 85 to 90 degree centigrade so the temperature required for the liberation of the oil 
is the same that of as that of the boiling method so even the steam is used even the steam is used for the boiling of the liver tissues or the liver pieces the temperature should be 85 to 90 degree centigrade so while steaming method while the use of steaming method for the extraction of the liver oil the fresh liver lobes are heated with the steam under pressure using steam kettle with automatic safety valve to control the pressure that is 2 kg per square at pressure the temperature of the steam is maintained between 85 to 90 degree centigrade the temperature of the steam is maintained between 85 to 90 degree centigrade so as to obtain the uh, liver oil or so as to liberate the liver oil in a good quality the oil thus liberated the oil thus liberated is drawn up to the vessel through a pipe and the liver residue is diverted to a centrifuge for further processing this is a continuous process and yields good quality oil so this method is uh, good for uh, yielding the or extracting the liver oil in a good quality then thirdly flotation method liver pieces are crushed liver pieces freshly harvested liver pieces the freshly harvested harvested pieces so liver pieces liver pieces of re, liver pieces of freshly harvested pieces liver pieces of freshly harvested pieces are crushed to a pulp and dehydrated with a salt like sodium sulfate for few days to remove the moisture the dehydrated mass or the pulp is extracted with the organic solvent like uh, ethylene dichloride oil is obtained by distilling the solvent it is a costly process so in flotation method in flotation method the levers of freshly harvested pieces are cut into smaller pieces then are uh, crushed and transform into the pulp the pulp is then allowed to dehydrate with a salt of uh, sodium sulfate for few days to remove the moisture so the further dehydration or the removal of the moisture the salt like sodium sulfate is treated with the liver pulp for few days so as to remove the moisture the dehydrated mass is then extracted the dehydrated mass is then extracted with organic solvent like ethylene dichloride oil is obtained by distilling the solvent and it is the costly process then lastly fourth alkali enzyme method fourth method of extraction of the liver oil that is alkali enzyme method enzyme alkali method or alkali enzyme method the liver is ground into pulp so the fresh liver tissues or the fresh liver pieces the fresh liver pieces are first ground into a pulp and then are treated with a caustic soda 1 to 2% or with a sodium carbonate 25% with a constant stirring for about an hour the pulp is then passed through a centrifugal machine the pulp is then passed through a centrifugal machine where the oil get separated uh, in the centrifuge so alkali enzyme method in which the freshly uh, the liver the liver pieces or the liver lobes the liver lobes of the freshly harvested pieces are ground into pulp and then the liver pulp is treated with caustic soda 1 to 2% or with the sodium carbonate 25% with a constant stirring for about an hour for constant stirring for about an hour the pulp is then passed through a centrifugal machine the pulp is then passed through a centrifugal machine where the oil is separated 
in the centrifuge tubes so this is what about the uh, fishery by product that is liver oil and the extraction methods of the liver oil such as uh, uh, boiling method steaming method flotation method and enzyme alkali method so today with this we'll uh, stop here and uh, next time we'll uh, explain the remaining type of fishery by products thank you